Hi guys, Nagraj here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new for this channel, please do subscribe. Hi guys, welcome back to my another video. In this video, we will see how to scroll web page up and down in uh, Selenium Web Driver, or we can say it is also, uh, we can also say that how to scroll web page vertically or horizontally uh, using the Selenium Web Driver. In this video, I have uh, made a three scenario. So let me open the web page so you will understand what exactly the three scenario here. So scroll bar is nothing but see this is the web page. Let me I have opened on productbeast.com. It's a web page. Here we can see at the right side we can see there is a scroll bar. So this is through this we can able to scroll the page up and down, right? So this is a vertical uh, scroll bar and. Sometimes we may have the horizontal scroll bar as well, but in this page we don't find any horizontal scroll bar, right? So now we'll talk about only the vertical scroll bar as we have a vertical scroll bar here. The first scenario, as I mentioned earlier, like once I log into this application, suppose my requirement is like I need to click on something link which is not uh, visible here, right? So if I need to scroll down and I need to click on this, so before in more clarity so i need to click on the learn more link which is under the java okay i need to click on this link but once i launch the application the application will be launched in something like this learn more java link is not visible here so in that case we need to scroll down right till here and we need to click on this then it will work fine but in this case if you didn't scroll and uh, if you try to click on that uh, learn more link under the java the your script will throw like the element not found exceptions so in order to avoid that we need to scroll it scroll down and we need to click on it once i uh, we need to scroll and then we need to identify this element locators and we need to click on it, this link then it will work fine so how to do this uh, through the selenium app driver now so to identify that so i need to scroll till here right so what i can do now so let me right click inspect element so if you click on the console window okay so if i write here window dot scroll so i can able to see some method here right so if i see i can able to see the method so it takes the two parameters y axis and x axis x axis means it will scroll something like horizontally but y axis means it is scrolling vertically so in this in our case horizontally i don't want to move so in that case i need to click on zero vertically i need to give space um, if i give 500 just see how much it will scroll i'm clicking on enter see here now the vertical scroll bar is here now I, if i give enter it will move something here correct right? so if i move something that so still my java link is not visible so java learn more link is not visible so try to give some more so try to give some more value so let me give 1000 here so i will make it some normal position then i will click on enter see now i can able to see if i give 1000 as a y pixel so i can able to see learn more right so once i launch the application i need to scroll till 1000 pixel vertically then i need to proceed with this click operation so this is the first scenario the second scenario sometime it will be like I need to go and click at the end of the page. So suppose assume like send the second scenario, I need to click or I need to fetch the data from the end of the page. Suppose I need to click on this page, this text, copyright at the edge of 200. In that case, if I start filling the pixel and all, it is not a good practice, right? So maybe uh, today due to some data, only these many data is available in the space. Tomorrow due to some update in the page or maybe that pixel won't work so in that case directly we need to scroll till the end of the page that how to do that we'll see that is second scenario in third scenario that's very important like so anyhow in the first scenario we know that so we have moved till thousand pixel down vertically so we identify this in the real time scenario what will happen this will keep on change sometimes possibility there is a possibility like this java learn more link will vary maybe today in this position a thousand position vertically maybe tomorrow maybe somewhere something somewhere in the middle of the page 
so in that time if you give 1000 pixel it won't work for you right so in that case we need to scroll the web page until it can able to see the java learn more link so that is very important the third scenario that also we'll see in this video okay we'll start one by one so as a as I mentioned in the first scenario, we need to scroll till the thousand pixels. Then only we can able to see that uh, particular. So let me uh, go to console window. So windows dot scroll. In that I need to pass zero comma thousand. So this I need to pass. Then only our uh, page will move till the Java learn more link right so what we will do so we will go to the eclipse so here i have just defined the chrome driver and uh, i just launched the application and i am maximizing the window so in order to scroll operation in uh, uh, selenium we need to use the javascript executor uh, object okay how to do that just create a javascript executor object javascript executor equal to new so as we need to down cache the web driver to the javascript executor we need to down cache it so why we need to down cache that already i have a made, I made a video on this why we need to down cache the web driver to the javascript executor so if you didn't watch please go and watch now we need to import this this under the dot selenium package correct so once we imported this one okay sorry we don't need to use this new operation because we are just down casting the thing so in this javascript executor object dot execute script there is a one method called execute script it takes the two parameter but in the one case we can you can it allows it will allow single parameter as well so what that parameter we need to take this one so i need to take this one this windows 12000 is there right we need to copy this go back to the eclipse in the inside double quote we need to paste this one okay now this will scroll till thousand and then we can proceed with the next step whatever we want so what i do here i will use some thread dot slip for our reference just for this demo purpose i am using the thread dot slip because we want to see how much uh, whether it is scrolling or not that i want to see okay thousand pixel i have uh, added y axis i have a thousand pixel and just i'm waiting for the three second before closing the window also let me uh, wait for three second so that it will be more clear for you to visible how it is scrolled or something okay let me run this script we'll see it is launching the application it is it will maximize the window then see it is maximum it will wait three seconds after waiting the three seconds see it is scrolled now so now this java learn more link is visible right so this is how we can able to achieve the thing now the next process is next scenario what we have discussed we need to scroll the object till the end of the page we need to scroll till end of this because i need to face this data right i need to face this data. that's why i need to scroll till the end of the page so that how we can do let me wait after this operation let me wait again three seconds with the javascript dot execute script here it takes the two parameter that we'll see in the web page okay, so in this page now let me uh, make it to the first position now here window dot scroll is there right we can add something like the horizontal space again is zero horizontal position zero and vertical position i need to move till the end of the page so this text with this value we need to pass document dot body dot scroll height so this what it returns it will scroll the your page till the end of the page so let me enter see it is going till the end of the page you got it right so let me use first it was thousand then if i use this document dot body dot scroll height so it will scroll till the end of the page so now we can able to see this scroll pen so same thing we can use it here let me copy this let me copy and paste it over here in the double quote again we need to paste it over here so this should 
takes me till the end of the page that we'll see now so whether it is working fine or not let, let me run this script first what it does it will move till the thousand pixel then it will scroll till the end of the page whether it happens or not we'll see this launch the application it will wait for three seconds after maximizing the window then it will scroll to thousand uh, pixel down move to thousand pixel down now it will move to the end of the page okay this is how it works first it move thousand pixel then it is move to the end of the page now we'll see the third scenario uh, let me do, do. let me wait for three second again so in the third scenario what we need to do so we need to identify some of the web element. See, first we need to identify this web element and we should pass the web element as a parameter. So now what I want is like, I need to click on the learn more, right? So right click, inspect element. Here, I need to pass the link text as a learn more. Okay, let me copy this. Let me go back to the Eclipse. So first we need to identify the uh, link text driver dot find element or web element whatever it is in now in my case i need to identify the link i need to click on the link test so i need to find a link test here driver dot find word by dot link text so i need to pass as a parameters this is how i got it this is the web element so this returns the web element is a link text right so let me use the same value this web element let me import the web element that is that is selenium package okay now what we need to do again we need to call the javascript dot execute script here we need to pass again the two parameters the one is the one is link text another one is like uh, the argument so here two parameter i am passing one is link text and another one is like it's not link text the same thing here. so this same thing i have passed link text here the element is i have passed and here arguments of zero dot scroll into view so till the link text is visible until uh, it does your scrolling operation will be done okay that means once this is the link text is visible till then the was scroll will be done in the work in our in our case it will start scroll from here okay so it is something like by default it will be something like this right so it will keep on scrolling your uh, web page till this learn more link is visible in that case it will stop something here Okay, now we'll see again uh, whether it works or not. In this case, I have already moved to the end of the page. So let me take back my uh, script to the zero. So uh, let me add one more uh, here. I will move after this end of the scroll bar. I will move again to zero to zero. So I will I will take till the top. Okay, this I'm just taking the till top of the page, scrolling up. Let me. Okay, what it what it is doing? So first case, it is just moving to the thousand pixel uh, down. In this case, it is moving till the end of the page. Here, I am again taking the top because just I want to check like whether it is moving to the till the page or not. Okay, just I am taking the uh, scroll up. Then again, I will moving to the scroll till the element is visible. Okay, now we'll see whether it works or not. Let me run this script. Launch the application. Scroll thousand pixel down. Now it will scroll till the end of the page. Now it will take the top. Now again it will scroll back to the. Yeah, see it is scrolled till the link text is visible. Okay, that's how uh, we can able to perform this operation, guys. 
so in this video we have learned something like uh, there are three scenarios you have learned the first is like till uh, some pixel on fixed number of uh, pixel we are uh, moving the scroll bar vertically the second scenario we saw that how to move the how to scroll till the end of the page and third scenario we saw that how to move the scroll till the element is visible hope you like this video uh, if you have still if you have any doubt please put it in comment section let me revert back and uh, if you like this video please hit like button and please share with your friends those who are looking for the java concept and don't forget to subscribe this channel guys for further useful videos thank you